Hey guys, I have a real quick um, short just over cancer screenings because I know this is a topic that can be kind of confusing. There you may see some things a little bit different in your textbook than you're going to see on the cancer screening website, but we're going by the cancer screening website. So um, hopefully this will clarify some of those things for you. So let's talk about the types of cancers that we screen for and the four main types that we screen for that there's like actual like research based statistics overdoing these are going to be cervical colorectal breast and prostate. So for cervical cancer most people if you're a female you know that we usually start this at age 21, but the actual official recommendation per the cancer screening website is going to be ages 25 to 65. Um, regular HPV testing with those cervical cancer screening is also recommended. So this is a pap smear. Um, so, you know, the recommendations have definitely changed over time, but um, we caught um, women get these on a regular basis, you know, depending on your doctor every three to five years. Um, usually the recommendation for pap, especially when you're younger is gonna be every three years. And then once you get to a certain age, you can start getting it every five years. For colorectal cancer, this is definitely one that I could see changing in um, soon because more people are getting it at a younger age. But we start screening at age 45 and we do it up until age 75. And with this one, we have options. So here's our options. The golden standard is gonna be to stick a tube up your butt. And so it's gonna be a colonoscopy every 10 years. Our other options are a sigmoidoscopy, which is still a tube up your butt, but it's not going up as far as the colonoscopy does. That's every five years or what's known as a FOBT or a fecal occult blood test that's done every year. The most accurate in the golden standard is gonna be that colonoscopy. You're gonna see in your textbook, there's other options as well. Um, and there are other tests that can be done, but most people end up getting the colonoscopy because that is the best, most accurate way to see if you have colorectal cancer. So if you have polyps or other things that are um, they find when they do your colonoscopy, that's when they'll, um, uh, what do you call it, um, biopsy those and make sure that they're not cancerous. Breast cancer. So um, we do breast cancer screenings like um, we're talking about mammograms here, um, starting at age 45. And um, at age 45, we start them every year. At age 55, we can start getting them every two years. Um, but again, this is uh, breast cancer is one that's very specific on the patient. There's a lot of patients that have family members that have had breast cancer. So it's really just going to depend on the patient's history, including their family history um, and what other risk factors they might have. Um, but the official recommendations is to start at age 45 for someone who's at normal risk. And then at age 55, if you're still a normal risk, then you can get it every two years. And I did talk about in class about how breast cancer screening is changing because, um, or at least I, on my recorded PowerPoint, I should say, is that um, it's changing because there's a lot of risk versus benefit, like what's actually going to help the patient versus um, cause more harm. Um, then there's also prostate cancer screening. So these start at age 50. And usually what is done for these is what's called a PSA or a prostate specific antigen. Um, something to keep in mind is there's many things that can elevate this lab. Sometimes they also do a digital rectal exam and that can cause the PSA to be elevated. So, um, having recent ejaculation, riding a bike for a long period of time. Um, I mean, you name it, like anything that could, um, you know, put pressure on, uh, what do you call it, that prostate area effectively can um, elevate that lab. So it's definitely, we have to kind of correlate it with other stuff. And if um, uh, you haven't learned about this at this level yet, but prostate cancer is a very treatable cancer. And a lot of times um, people have it and um, they have it for 10, 15, 20 years, and it's not what kills them. There's something else that um, actually takes their life. So you can live with it for a long time. It's not a very aggressive cancer usually, um, but we still want to screen for it because some people can have aggressive forms of it as well. So um, that is cancer screenings in a quick nutshell. So I hope that helped to break down or um, get rid of any confusion you might've had on some of those. See you next time.